everyone, my name is Madeline and I will be performing Pharaoh's snake today. Disclaimer, this person is a trained scientist who has all the required personal protective equipment necessary. Please do not attempt this at home. For this demo, you need some sand, some granulated sugar, and a lighter. So to start out, make sure you cover the bottom of your tray in sand. Next, I'm going to take this container and I'm going to fill it with four parts sugar to one part baking soda. Now I'm going to just stir those together in this container to make sure they're evenly mixed. Once my mixture is all mixed together, I'm going to pour these onto the sand in my pie plate. I'm going to be following a bit of a snake shape because this is Pharaoh's snake. Once I make sure that's all evenly distributed, I'm going to take some lighter fluid and I'm going to use this to cover the surface of the sand, pouring as gently as I can. So once I've added the lighter fluid, you can take your barbecue lighter and light the mixture on fire. The heat from the flames decomposes the baking soda into CO2, and the sugar combusts into carbon dioxide and H2O. Due to the excess of the carbon dioxide gas present, some of the sugar that is attempting to combust does not have access to oxygen, and therefore undergoes a decomposition reaction, turning into a solid carbon and more water vapor. This solid carbon is what you see turning into the snake that coils out of the sand. A real life application of this is if you've ever burnt a marshmallow while cooking them over the campfire, or even if you've burnt your toast in the morning because you've left it in the toaster for too long. The black burnt solid that you see is the decomposition of the sugars found in the bread or the marshmallow. Thank you for watching Pharaoh's Snake. Be sure to check out the rest of the Science Bundy demonstrations.